country. So we are going to see the world's fastest junior racers on track today. Starting, of course, with the junior women. Let's have a look at this Lenzer Haida Bike Kingdom track then. I got Bunden full gas step up. So many key sections on this track. A lot of it fairly one line because it is so, so fast. But the bits where there are line choices, completely fundamental to ha having a successful run down here. Skips anchor into the Shimano, too steep to plunge. That's a new section. Extremely, extremely steep. I cannot emphasize that enough. Into Oakley, Prism speeding. And then they'll start to hear the crowd. They'll start to hear the roar. This tricky left-hander and then that tricky right-hander before the finish line drop down into the finish area. An absolutely incredible 1.8 kilometer course with a gradient of 417 vertical meters. Well, I am joined in the booth by the one and only Cedric Gracia. Cedric, we're doing it. We're finally here. We're here and I'm so excited. We, like you say, juniors are a big part of the deal today. They are the future and it just amazing what I saw this morning. Now, we should talk about this because due to some of the schedule changes in downhill this season, junior practice comes uh, just after the pro track walk and apparently it was the place to be. Let's talk through the running order now. Taylor Ostgaard will be our first rider on course. Celine Besson, Riley Miller, Emma Aiten, Vanessa, Vanessa Petrovska, excuse me, Le Bonar, Amy Kenyon for Pink Bike Racing, Bouladou, Van Leuven and Roa Sanchez, the fastest qualifier from yesterday with a three minutes 27.894 time down this stunning Lenzer Heide track. Yeah, the juniors, they've really lit this place up already, haven't they? And tricky conditions, Cedric, we should talk about. You were up on track earlier this morning. I was up on track and those kids, of course, you my age, I can say kids, but <laughs> it's just amazing. The dedication is the first time they will be on TV. They represent the sponsors, some of them, the parents. It's just like amazing. How hard have been working and the track was like moist and destroyed. It was incredible. You sent me a, a phone clip actually. On one part of, your, of the image, you can see the track's completely slick and like yeah. so greasy. And on the other side of the track, it's bone dry and dusty. And under the trees as well, because it's so thick. There like we the go. water don't go through. Like, there we have Lenzer Haida there. That's, Pretty much this track summed up in one image, man-made fast bike park on one side and just full on natural routes. So we had a lot of rain, yes, Ethan, as I said, a bit overnight as well. It is very, very hot here today though, so the track is drying out. The juniors traditionally first on course, so they get the toughest conditions to practice in as well. Well, that, that's how you learn really. Like if you want to be at the top guy tomorrow, you need to learn by the base. The base is not supposed to be easy. It's a lot of work they have to do, but I saw so many teams there helping the kids, the ladies, like bring back the bike up, like try this line and, and they go for it. And it's just like so good to see. It's high level now, isn't it? Junior racing is all out. An interesting year this as well for the juniors in that the, uh, what we'll call the class of 2022, the top, the top two in each class, they've gone up in the elite bracket. So it's a chance for those younger ones behind them to really ma start making names for themselves. I, got, I call this the golden ticket. <laughs> I mean. Is this what you would want as a junior racer? You've got those big names, the Jordan Williams, the uh, Jackson Goldstones, they've headed up into elite and now it's your chance. Yeah, it's your chance to shine. And uh, we saw it last year, like, Time was really tight already. They was able to be on the top, guys. We'll see what they will do this year. I think a lot of people are waiting for them, but uh, a lot of pressure as well. Big teams. Gracie Hemstreet, Phoebe Gale as well. Of course, both of those on big teams as well. We'll see them in Elite for the first time. Gracie Hemstreet set the fastest time at the Lourdes. Uh, pre-season downhill testing, yeah. race not a race, and uh, looking very, very fast. And focus, yeah. I was so impressed at that age, you know, like it's really hard to get focus, it's all new, and they already have a game face, game face on. Yeah, and yeah, it's amazing to see, you know, how mature they are already. Well, here we go, here is our first rider out off the gate. Well, the per first part here, like it's like one line you don't want to miss, like a lot of rocks involved, you want to pump and use the track to get that like I call this free speed, but don't forget the braking here when you cross the road because you have a left hard, like left hander. Yeah, Taylor Osgard riding for transition. You see this famous uh, bridge 
using the speed like from the corner this is really important we're entering the woods like really important to be focused as well and like a lot of lights and all of a sudden in the woods it's really dark that not really easy to get your lines it is one of the things that a lot of people have been talking about especially on the, in the build-up to this race is uh lens are hide traditionally very difficult to see isn't it very dappled light you get it's often very very bright the height of summer here in switzerland and that dappled light comes through the trees and you can go from a section like this which is as we jump on board our, our live drone as you see complete daylight perfect vision and then you head back into the darkness of the she's, trees yeah she's entering that section there and it's already better the light because we have clouds but this morning was really difficult and you don't want to miss those lines with that speed that speed like you know one meter one meter you're off the track you're off your line and all of a sudden nothing is linking in no Taylor and even Oscar. that drop off the drop then. Right. Oh. Big casing here, you need to have a proper speed. But this is, we talked about, one of, the, one of those key bits that you've got to link together. You've got to land that drop nicely, but then get straight on the brakes to make a hard right on that inside turn. E exactly, after that, you just have an inside and inside. You have to make sure you have the proper this, gearing as well. This is the new steep section. Inside line for her. Yeah. She's going to across between the two trees. Really easy to kiss a tree today. And you don't want that in Switzerland. Uh, you and I are both kissing off trees over the years. Yeah. You don't want to do that. Too so many. Those two Shimano pads that we just saw on the last shot, um, some of the some of the elite level riders tagging both of them on the way through yesterday. That's how I find the margins and downhill now. Is yet another road crossing for Oscar. Yeah, and really be careful here. You see, it's still shiny on those rocks, and those rocks are no friendly. You see, you will see the bike like floating over because the mud from this morning being carried on those rocks, and they're like olive oil. You know, like yeah. like olive oil. Look like someone put olive oil on those rocks. Really difficult here as well, like many lines, and you want to keep that speed. And it's a big line, a little bit more on the right, or she's taking. But really difficult, especially at that stage of the track. You know, you're tired, and you have to be focused all the way down. Like this, this is those white rocks you were talking about. They just yeah. the, the type of rock here it just soaps up, doesn't it, with any moisture at all on it. But you see a little puff of puff of dust there. So yeah. it is dry out in the open, but. Um, Definitely this track in Lenzerheide evolving in front of our eyes. As and it's, it's been sculpted by tires and runs and runs, you know, like it's not much work being on there. That's what I call real downhill, you know? Yeah. It's amazing. And a mix of a little bit of bike park and really like technical parts. And Oscar, now this, uh, this right hander, this right left. Be careful on that one. Yeah, over the big drop. Oh, big drop. Right Down on. Into the finish area. Taylor Osgaard stops the clock at 3.45.6. Smooth run. Smooth run. We could see she was a little bit tired at the end, like really hard to connect everything. And you have to make sure you attack strongly, but you don't want to give all your cartridge at the top. You know, you need to save energy for that really fast bottom. Here we go then. Celine Besson on that number 17 common style. French lady going like super smooth at the top. Use the terrain. Attacking the course right yeah, from the start. Exactly. That's really important. But like I say, don't burn too much. Like she opened here. Like we're going to see many lines here because it's a right and left corner. That's super tight. We will see like some people who actually touch the, the protection because there's not much room. It is one of the, the characteristics of this course is that the speed variable is very high, isn't it? And you can be flat out death grip in one section and then hard on the anchors and having to make a very, very precise turn. We spoke to uh, Greg Menard yesterday during uh, practice and he said that is the toughest thing about this Lenzer Haida track has always been linking the sections together and just being precise with every input on the bike because it all, it all has a ripple effect, Cedric. It all affects your speed throughout the rest of the run. Exactly, but that's... Uh, I think here you need to be consistent from the top to the bottom. D don't try to grab a full hand of braking. You need to play with those brakes. And we're going to see a lot of desk grips today. I'm telling you, <laughs> this is desk grip track. You if need to have your section line up, you know? If you're new to downhill, yeah, look for that, uh, look for that death grip where all four fingers are wrapped around the handlebar, nowhere near the brakes. That is racing at its best. Besson cross of the line with 354.123. Eight it, seconds behind. Yeah, eight seconds behind Oscar. Yeah. So maybe a problem up there somewhere. I can't see any dirt on her. So we'll have to see Riley Miller then for the USA. A young woman who's done a lot of racing already in her career, especially on an enduro bike as well. So absolutely no stranger to big speed. What sense can she make, if any? Oh, looking good at the top, though. Like, yeah, pinning it. Yeah, pinning it. 
really important to be really active on the bike. You don't want to stock the bike on those big variations and you need to, this, I call this free speed, you know, like you have to use the terrain. That's why I think BMX is such a pump track, such a good, very good school. Here, like, uh, outside the corner, really important all the times, you know, to get the capo crank, really important to get the bike back to the speed, really important to enter, like, technical section. Speed is your friend in mountain biking, and the harder it is on those routes, speed is your friend. It is, that was always what I struggled with, certainly. <laughs> we all did, we all did. <laughs> that corner, don't misjudge that corner, it's so technical and it's not a berm, like a berm, like it's holding you, you can go flat out right now, like this last corner, we, I saw a lot of problems in practice. We, we talked earlier about uh, Amory Pierons, Riley Miller goes yeah. into the hot seat with a 344.1. Great run! Great run. Wonder if that one will stick. Emma I-10 then for Switzerland. Will no doubt get plenty of oh, cheers on her way down this line. one. Sorry. Yeah, she went wider yeah, there, she, didn't she? Yeah, she, she went in the nice grass. Opened that corner a little bit because it's two rocks in the inside. And I definitely think that's, that's safe. And that, and that was fast. Then why not? The Swiss fans, massive, massive home support here. It doesn't matter oh. what the format is for. Oh, she's struggling here. She's struggling. Yeah, that's yeah, what I say yeah, when you yeah. speed. That's a line that was telling you. I so saw Brini and all the big boys like going... Pfft. Big time in there, no braking, really, 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 really tough to take. It's a really, really tough place to go fast. 795 riders here, a new UCI World Cup record across all formats. What a way to start the season here in Switzerland. Well, it's maybe not the run that I-10 would have wanted, but she's two seconds quicker. Yeah, she, she's, she's suffering a little bit now. I think she gave a lot of energy at the top, but now she has to wrap up that run. Yeah, it's time to look fast. You're heading down towards the crowd. She's doing good here. Like, you see the position really low to try to get, you know, the speed. And she goes off that lower drop, must reckon it's faster. Aiton right. then crosses the line. Is she going to go in the hot set? Aiton stops the clocks and goes with 3.40, 3.245. That is enough to do it. Taking it. Into that new look hot seat. Just to the right of your shot there. Emma Aiton. Beautiful, beautiful. Stuff that dreams are made of, Cedric. Fastest at your home round? Yeah. Now she has to watch. The best. Can Vanessa Petrovska? Oh, she's she's charging right, but here, like already grabbed the brakes a couple of times, and she have to crank outside. But that's Getting a crank in there. She's lo losing a little bit of energy, but sometimes you need those capro cranks to like. All right, I am in now. Let's go. Yep. Down through that rock wow. section where we saw Aiton have a bit of a falter, and she's going to hang right here over this big rock. She's looking flat. She's lo looking good on it. You can hear, you see the tri you see the, the back wheel that's just yeah. hitting every rock, especially right there. Those rocks are not moving. Oh! oh. <laughs> Using all the R's in the gym there to hold herself up in the handlebars, keep herself away from going out the front door. If you're new to downhill racing, then these bikes specially designed to go down a hill, as the name would suggest. But the thing about them is they're like a Formula One car, Cedric, aren't they? They need to be up to speed to work. They, they are, and uh, everyone and a lot of people are working with telemetry today. Here we can see a mallet bike. It means like a 27.5 on the rear and the 29 wheels on the front. Yes. Then um, some people ride 29, 29. Petroska crosses the line nine seconds <laughs> faster. Woo, she looking good all the way down. Like you say, you have to ride fluid like water. Well, whatever Vanessa had for breakfast, it worked anyway. She is down and into the hot seat. Let's see if Le Bonar can make any inroads into her time. The French, I would say, that sat beside inside a Inside line here, sorry. So strong still in downhill. Yep, she took that inside line and it was... We saw three different lines on the second corner. Two day already on the junior woman. Let's get her through this steep section then. Cedric Bonar, where is she? She's there. She's going to the left-hand side yeah. then. Not taking the inside here. She's making the corner oh. a little bit more round. Oh, 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 she's all outside then. All out, all the way uh, outside, slightly too outside, but yeah, she, she stayed inside those course markers crucially, yeah. but she'd be in the wrong gear now, having to just get that flow back. Yeah, her. that's really hard here. If you miss your line, like I say, with the speed, they're, 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 they're getting into that wood section. If you miss one line, and it's so steep, that the, 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 the TV right now is not making the justice how steep it is. And if you miss that line, yeah, you're dropping seconds. Then after that, you need to reset and start cranking. That's it, yeah, I think to 
I guess to, to a newcomer to the sport, it looks all about bravery and adrenaline downhill racing, but there's it's such a mental game as well. To be able to press reset halfway down a run, let's see what the split has her at. She was doing better here, but like she dropped a lot of second in our wood section, and this is almost today really hard to, you know, yeah, to take this back. She was 11 down. 11 down at the third yeah. split, so not going the way Le Bonar would have hoped. No, and those two wood section, like I looked at this morning, you can drop so many seconds like in one mistake. And that's what basically what happened. But it's hard, you know, like that's how you learn. That's that's the way it is. They're going to do replay with cameras, they're going to work hard and come back stronger. And we have a big feel in France of like many coming and then. Uh, you really, really, <laughs> really do. There's plenty more young French racers champing at the bit to get the UCI Mountain Bike World Series. And Le Bernard comes down the line, 10 seconds back, not the run she would have hoped for, but she's down, not injured. The next race is only a week away. Exactly. You know, you need to start somewhere and mistakes, you know, they're made to learn and let's go. Here we go, Scotland's Amy Kenyon there for Pink Bike Racing on track. One of the big young stars of the junior women's field. I love the way she's walking the trail at the top, doing a little manual and using the free speed like pumping. Fourth at the World Champs in Leger, last time out and fifth in the overall. Five seconds That's back for Kenyon though, maybe an issue somewhere. Yeah. Maybe a spot we didn't see when she dropped cap at second. She was actually up at the second split by half a second, yeah. but she's dropped uh, two. She dropped a second and a half at split three, so... Yeah, something happened on between split two and three, and she's... Off the big drop smoothly for Kenyon. Oh. the elbows over the line. She's not pedaling. Did she have a problem with gearing? Let's have a look. Let's see where the no, eyes go. No, the chain is on. Chain's on. Looks T like there's air in the tires. Yeah, the tires are pumped. But our tough is this trail. It's just like on all the way down. And it is full of rocks. Even the second you get offline, there are just axe head rocks wanting to take a tire off, wanting to puncture a tire. Lisa Bouladou now drops in. Another French lady. Uh, and now he's switching. That big part, first part, you need to be quiet and get free speed and breeze because all it's coming just after that. Two big technical part are basically, I think they are the keys. Today, who is going to be able to win? Yeah, and as you say, it's a race that's won by, uh, it's run by fractions here and there and just being precise as we rejoin Boudou now. That was, that was clean. That was extremely clean. Can she get on the anchors and make this inside line? Ah, she was round, she was quiet, and I saw Loic and Gapol, the guys doing that instead of going straight line. And I think today, that's probably what you have to do. A former European champ, fifth at the Worlds in 2022. She comes into that steep section. Oh, 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 oh. oh fast oh, through she's there. Good. That worked well for Lisa Boudadou. Great line in there between those two three. I think that's the fastest line. It's two line in there. Like either you go all inside or you switch in the middle between those two You've trees. You've got to thread the needle between those two trees oh. on the way out of it. And though. it's so tight. And commitment for sure. Yeah, and this turn here, Tricky just squares it off. Yeah, and it, 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 important because you don't want to, you, you know, if not, you have to crank so hard just after that corner because yeah. it's a little bit of a, of a hot hill. Bit of doing nice. stuck a little bit there. Turning down left though, kept it moving. That's what you have to do today. Keep that bike rolling, baby. French woman now with the number one plate. Oh, looking good here. She didn't stop the bike. She's 5.7 seconds to the good. So this could be a victory for Bouladou if she keeps this momentum rolling. But there's plenty more track to race here in Lanzerheide. Oh, she can smell the finish line. Bouladou. She's on the 29-29, is it? On the big wheels. Not a bad shot here. Is it? Oh, no, 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 millet, millet. I, I was kind of unsure because I know... 6.3 seconds now. Bouladou off the drop. Oh, She'll amazing. hear the crowd. This is one of the best feelings in cycling. Makes that last jump. Turns left. Oh, she's on it. She's cracking hard for the Over last drop. Over the line then. is she going to do enough here? Is she going to knock Petrovska off the hot seat? Bouladou takes the win by 6.5 seconds to the good. Ah, Kokoriko! What a way to start your year! <laughs> Great run! 
impressive all the way down. She didn't have a moment, a little bit, though. She was a little bit like tired, and she's like, wow. there is just Aries Van Leuven now at the top to stand between her and that win. What can Van Leuven from New Zealand do? Oh, she looked good. Oh, she's on the charge. Definitely cranking right away after the gate. Oh, she's sending it. Into the steep section now. Oh, that's Van oh, Leuven. Wow. Oh, great lining inside great here. Inside, inside. We've that's not seen that today. That's a line I was telling you, but really hard to get result. And it's worked. She was down the first split, but she's up by 1.1 now. Van oh. Leuven is moving. Oh, that's, that's impressive. She shaved down a lot of time. Turns hard left. I think she's carrying more speed through this section, you know, oh. Cedric, to my eyes. Yeah, yeah, and she opened the corner a little bit when a lot of people were staying inside. Oh, really nice really there, nice. the right end there, really difficult. Just got off the brakes, released the energy, lifted the bike up over that little crest as Van Leuven making good sense oh. of the conditions here in Lenzerheide. Oh, she's taking the chance, that's for sure. She's definitely not a passenger on the bike. She's like telling the bike what to do. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hangs on, she's 1.8 up now. Edging on the two seconds quicker. Is it going to be enough? It's going to be enough. You have to crank every corner. Now it's going to count. It's going to count. It's just staying smooth. It's staying fast. Stay off those brakes. Can Aries Van Leuven over the drop? She's 3.8 on oh, wow. four seconds. Van Leuven making great sense of it. Clears that jump with ease. Turns right. Oh, squares up for the big drop. Pedaling off the end of it. Van Leuven down the oh. line. The last rider on course is going to take wow. the lead. 5.4 seconds into the good. Aries Van Leuven wins the first UCI mountain bike downhill World Cup of 2023 for the junior women. What a run! What a run! We've what got, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. We've still got more to yeah. go. We've got Valencia yeah. and Sanchez, what the a fastest run. qualifier. What a run on the speed three and four. Was, was insane insane what she did. There we go. Last, not the least. Oh, she's fast. This is the fastest qualifier yesterday, then Rua Sanchez. Oh, she was fast. So this is us jumping to the live shots now. Rua Sanchez, 327.894. Yeah, oh, nice. she comes into this. Is she going to go inside, 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 or is she going to go? Yeah, oh, she's going a bit on the street. She dropped a lot of speed inside, off on the yeah. way down there, Cedric. Yeah, it's too off, too off. But what a run! What can oh, the Colombian oh, oh, oh. do on the transition? That was an interesting line. She went halfway between two oh, lines. She's two point eight back. Maybe Van yeah. Leuven has done enough to win this. Oh, yeah, she needs to start cranking, but still some. Time she can get here at the bottom, she get focused and she still has some energy. It's time to give everything she got. This is it, full commitment now. There is no other option. She's got to roll the dice. Uh, she's looking good here. Yep. Will it be enough that we're ready to get a split soon? The Colombian lit up qualifying yesterday with comfortably the fastest time, but it looks like it's getting away from her today. Uh, hard gear, she's suffering right now. Really hard for her. Roa Sanchez then. Be careful on those corners. They look easy, but really easy to make a mistake on those bike park corners. Hangs left, heads off the drop. Oh, she's heads off, down yeah. towards the bridge. It looks like it might be a bridge too far though. Four seconds back now, Roa Sanchez. It's gonna be Van Leuven's to lose unless, unless Roa Sanchez can do something absolutely unbelievable in this last split. She crosses the line, all eyes on the hot seat. Van Leuven's done enough. Second. Second. Van Leuven wins the UCI mountain bike downhill World Cup, the first one of the year here from Bike Kingdom, Lenzerheide. What a run though. Oh, commiserations already for Valentina Rua Sanchez. You know, it's always tough, you know, to win the semi and lose the final. Yeah, it's a tough one. It's a tough pill to swallow, but Cedric, You've got to, you've got to do it on the day. Exactly, you have to deliver when it counts. But Let's have a look at some of that movement. <laughs> Cedric, talk us through this one then. Where did she make the time? I think those cranks outside, like every time she could crank, and she's sending it in every jump. Try to land in the backside, try to get that speed. You know, you, you know when you case, like at the finish line, was a little bit sketched though. But hey. That's doesn't what she matter. Did. Doesn't cross, matter. Doesn't matter if you've crossed the line. Van Leuven crossed the line to win it today. What those cranks? They were so powerful on the right gear. <laughs> Not such a strong gear too. 
I'm joined here by the winner of the junior downhill women's Eris van Leuven, 5.4 seconds fastest. Tell us where how it went for you. It was an insane run. Like sometimes you have the runs where you can't remember anything because it just works so good. Um, and that was one of them, so I was really stoked. But one section where I crashed in quality yesterday, I did like for me perfectly, so I was really happy, yeah. Great, thank you very much, congratulations. Thank you. There is Van Leuven then, look. I got a feeling, Cedric, she knows how much that means. Oh, definitely, all those winter training, and especially a crash, then she said what she did good. There we go then, four seconds ahead of Roa Sanchez, and Roa Sanchez still second place, good points. Bulladu third, Petrovska fourth, and Amy Kenyon in fifth for Pink Bike Racing. It was just uh, high quality racing. It was, wasn't it? It was all out. It was all out, and we're going to have plenty more where that came from when the junior men take to the track momentarily. But a big, a big start to the year for these young racers. Eris van Leuven walking away with the win. Four seconds to the good. An absolutely incredible margin, given that what we're facing here in Switzerland as well. They breed a lot of fast riders with Brooke McDonald's and so many yeah. over there. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, <laughs> something in the water in New Zealand, all right. Plenty of pedigree mountain bikers coming. Look at the replay. Look at the bike is working. And she's, like I say, not a passenger. She's attacking. She is you attacking. see the, the body language here? Yep. The bike is going right away. She's already correcting it with the body. And wow. On that Commensal bike, of course. The Commensal. Brand Max Commensal, we just saw him in the background of the shot a second ago. It's really come to dominate downhill racing again. Wow, that was such a good line. She was not afraid of not... She was not touching the brakes. No, she wasn't. Pads are expensive today. <laughs> Brake pads, <laughs> yeah, maybe running low. It's hard to get pets these days. <laughs> there we are, the finish area in Lenzerheide awaits another exciting race. The lake just off the top of your shot there. How hard to be focused, you know, when you have such a good view and you have to be focused on where you're going. <laughs> I don't know, I find I was always so deep into crisis management, I didn't see a lot around me, but... Yeah, Lenzerheide, and absolutely, as I say, what Switzerland, a stunning country, but this is one of its most stunning, stunning parts here in the Swiss Alps. Yeah, good, and cheese and chocolate, and on beautiful tracks for Yeah, Gambia. and for cross-country as well. Sunday, we've got the... Uh, Short track World Cup coming up later on this evening in terms of the endurance World Cup side of things. But Sunday, the big one, the cross country Olympic, oh. where this place will be packed, standing room only for the Swiss fans who come to support their heroes every year. I've been many times this, uh, in these races, and definitely Lens Ride is like the cherry, like, like for William, like the crowd, it's so compact. It's one of the big ones, And it? they can see a lot of the racing in one spot, and this, I think it's key, and they understand that. That's why the, that's why it's so, and it's beautiful. It's all manicure, like the, the grass is perfectly cut. So I don't know what kind of lumber they have, <laughs> but it's amazing. Well, let's take a look at the junior men's start list. The riders we're gonna see on track momentarily. And if we think this was fast, and it was already fast, and juniors, it's just a notch faster. Here we go. Della Marino will get us on their way in just a second. And then Max Halcher, Clement Logier, Gavin Tomlinson, Arthur Perfilon, Alfie Hemming. So many. It's a big mix of a country here. It's awesome. There is, yeah, record numbers. As I said before, Hugo Marini for Commensal Mockoff by Riding Addiction. 